So if you heard about Telstra, which is about connecting uh, telephones, uh, Singstra is about connecting things. So we say Singstra. And uh, things, Internet of Things. So I'm sure you've heard about uh, the Internet of Things, it's a three trillion dollar business. If we look into it uh, more closely, 1995, uh, Internet, one billion users, 2005, Two billion of smartphones, and uh, for 2020, you should have 20 billion uh, things connected. So a much bigger market. So we're going after that market. If you look into when you have mobile phones, uh, you're mainly connecting through uh, video, uh, multimedia. Uh, but uh, things is about connecting small things, and that's a big, big market. When I say small things, it's uh, a door being open or closed. Uh, a temperature reading, a meter index, uh, a geolocation uh, of, of an asset. So it's really about all those small things. How do you connect those small things? Oh, I like that Pac-Man effect. <laughs> so let's go into the details about what is really IoT. It's made of three things. First thing is devices. So what's really a device? So that's a device. That's a, a, a small GPS tracker. Uh, so inside, you've got connectivity, uh, and I will go into the details of what kind of connectivity you need. Uh, you've got a battery, and uh, you've got different kind of sensors. It could be a temperature, it could be a, a motion sensor, uh, it could be a GPS. Uh, so we have things. Things are connecting, they need to connect to a network. And uh, in that case, uh, it's uh, Singstra. Uh, the network that we're building, which is uh, the technology called Sigfox. Um, so we're building a nationwide network uh, in Australia, uh, New Zealand as well. Um, and uh, what is exactly a network? What is really uh, a network like Sigfox? What's really interesting about that kind of network? Sigfox is a network really dedicated to connecting things. And what's really interesting about that? It's very long range. You've seen that little device. You can connect 50 kilometers away from, uh, from a base station. Very, very low costs. When we talk about mobile phones, uh, the cost here is around $2 per year. $2 per year for connecting your, your thing. Uh, very low power consumption, around 300 times less power consuming than your mobile phone. So if you have that small, that small thing, it uh, will last around a year. We have devices that could last up to 15 years, in the case of uh, water metering, for instance. Uh, very secure, I mean, we always talk about IoT and security. Of course, it has to be secure, it's a given. Uh, national coverage, we're building a nationwide network, so uh, aiming to cover 95% of the population by the end of this year. Um, so three, mo three or four months to go. And uh, of course, we have a network operation center, a strong ecosystem of partners. We have around 300 partners here in Australia, and open standard. Uh, I'll go into the details of what it means to be open standard, because I think it's, uh, it's very important now uh, in terms of uh, things. So Sigfox, yeah, it's a global network, started in Europe, you can see my accent, um, coming to Australia, that's us, and pretty much going global uh, in the space of three years. Uh, so Singstra, we are representing that network, and we're the, the, the telco operator for that network in Australia, New Zealand, and Hong Kong at this stage, and we're aiming to grow in uh, Southeast Asia. So I was talking about the network, so you have things, you have network, and the last thing you need is a platform. When I was talking about open standard, you're sending that data to whatever platform you want to use. It could be Microsoft Azure, IBM Bluemix, uh, I mean, Salesforce, um, SAP, you name it. So what is really a platform, it's, it's the tool that allows you to visualize that data or uh, even bring uh, data analytics and uh, being able to automate things. Um, so really uh, bring a lot of intelligence into those things. So you have a network, you have uh, devices, you have a platform. So Singstra, we pretty much, uh, to fast track the market, we uh, have all the pieces of the puzzle uh, pretty much resolved. Uh, we can provide the platform, we can provide uh, the devices, and we're building the network. But we also work with partners that can provide bits and pieces of that uh, puzzle. So I'll just look at quickly at some examples. So pretty much it's like we were talking, first I remember like 10 years ago when we had the smartphone, what I, What's the point of having a smartphone? Where can you use it in industrial perspective? Pretty much in any, any configuration. And I'm going to look quickly into all those different market segments. In agriculture, it could be about uh, monitoring your crops. 
Uh, it could be about cattle monitoring. It could be about even monitoring your cell or how much grain I've got from my cell. Uh, but do you locate all your... <laughs> okay. So, smart buildings, about air conditioning, uh, smoke alarm, being able to connect the smoke alarm. So it's really about small things. Cities, we always talk about smart beans, smart parking, street lighting, e-health, uh, yeah, it's about being able to, uh, Alzheimer's patient, just give them a watch and you know, you can GPS track them. Uh, something that was difficult to do before because the battery will last only one day, now the battery will last one year. Uh, smart living, so yeah, being able to, uh, to know where your pet is, and that's a pet tracker. That's how big it is and the battery will last between one and three years, depending on how often you lose your pet. <laughs> and uh, in smart metering, well, what's the metering? We'll okay. cut it short, okay, we'll okay, okay, I'll questions. finish, okay, okay I'll, uh, I won't go too much, but you can see it's pretty much going everywhere. So what we do as a conclusion, so we built three national web network. Uh, we've, so far in the space of a year and a half, we have uh, connected 1.8 million uh, devices. Uh, we have 50 million devices to connect in the pipeline. Uh, 200 ecosystem partners plus, in fact, we're at 300 now. And uh, we've raised uh, 31 million dollars, uh, 10 millions with the Australian government. And uh, now we're 38 uh, team members and uh, five board directors. So our vision, we empower the internet of things, and uh, really our vision is to be the number one Asia Pac uh, IoT provider, or internet of things provider. Thank you very much. Done. <laughs> I was hard to fit all that in there. Um, uh, great, great presentation, obviously, and uh, also something we find um, absolutely fascinating. We've got a, uh, an early stage business in the IoT play in the consumer sector, so I find um, what you're doing fascinating. Um, because we've got an interest in that area, one of the things that uh, we're looking at very closely is timing uh, for our business. Um, you know, there's been some false starts, uh, and, uh, and no one has a crystal ball. I was curious, I don't know whether you're presentation is still there, but if, we, if it was, and we could go back one or two slides to those stats at the end, um, which just had your kind of uh, scale and rollout and connected devices. I was curious to know, uh, I assume that there's a high uh, infrastructure cost to what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, what data have you got to support um, demand, um, to support the underlying business model? Yeah, that's, that, that's the reason why we managed to raise that much money in such a short term, is that uh, we work mainly with our top thousand uh, companies in Australia. Uh, and every company we talk to, we start with one project, we just give them one idea, and within an hour they come with 10 more ideas. Oh, I could do this, I could connect this, I could do that. And uh, so a discussion, for instance, with Woolworths, and we say, oh, we could do cold chain monitoring. We could put a, a small temperature reader in every crate of bananas. And now you're sure that between 10 and 20 degrees and you can monitor if there was a flow during your transportation from the farms to, uh, to your warehouse. Do you achieve that by bringing in your ecosystem partners? Because that so, sounds like a big job. Yeah, so that, that's why we, uh, we have all the piece of the puzzle solved uh, internally. So we can, and that's why also we have Hong Kong, uh, an Hong Kong office because we have our own R&D and we do our own devices. So we can do for proof of concept right away Within a, within a meeting, showcase a solution with the, with the platform, with a real solution with the platform, showing the device on the platform, an application to the customer. Then when we start talking about, because they need to have installation, if you talk to in water utilities, for instance, complex installation. So you need uh, to work with a lot of system integrators uh, that are going to bring a, a final solution, and that's where we bring them in, but not at the first meetings. The first meeting is about really explaining what it is. Final question for me from a competitive landscape point of view. Uh, you know, this seems like, you know, it's going to be huge. And when you, when you contemplate things that are huge that could erode, you know, the margins of the, the incumbent players, Telstra's had plenty of its margin eroded in the past by making mistakes and not getting, in, not getting into things fast enough. There's no, you don't see a major risk of being gazumped by, uh, you know, some of your, your, your bigger competitors out there? So, we're, what we call we are the intent of small things. We monitor very, very simple things, uh, which are very low cost, and that's what we are. Uh, we don't see uh, Telstra as a competitor because they can't compete in that field. However, they see us as complementary to what they provide. So they're coming, they're coming to the IoT field, uh, but more with a solution which are cheaper than 3G. Um, so complementary to 3G, but they're not going to go as low cost as our solutions. 
but their solution will be able to send more data, uh, we'll be able to do more things. Uh, we're really playing in, uh, in very simple things. And uh, so people like Telstra want to own the customer, whatever the way they're going to connect their, their things. So they will work with us uh, for the, the bottom piece uh, to, to, to make it happen. So we don't, we don't have direct competitors as, as such, more, I would say, partners uh, to, to complete their ecosystem. On the Red Queen idea, how are you <coughs> going to keep up? Well, how are you going to keep ahead? You said you're oversubscribed. Um, how are you going to scale up? How are you going to scale up in time? So we, uh, yeah, it's a it's a big question. I mean, uh, we're really, I think, for us, uh, scale up quite a fair bit. And uh, uh, we had our first office uh, 18 months ago, so we didn't have an office uh, and up to 18 months ago. We we're just six people, and uh, and now we're 38. Um, so it's uh, yeah, it's scaling up pretty quickly. Uh, it's, do you have uh, the experience in your team to do it? That's that's the reason why we raise uh, so much money. We are six co-founders, and all with uh, uh, complementary skill sets. Um, and that's for that reason that uh, the, the the investors really trusted us. Uh, we already show them that uh, even without any network, without any team, any office, we're already able to have uh, over 30 projects in the pipe with nothing. And, um, so, and we, we show that we're able to build a full national network within, uh, within two years. I mean, it took 10 years for Telstra, and we show them that uh, at the moment we cover 92% of New Zealand and 70% of Australia. And, uh, and we'll have the network finished by January. Fantastic, you're beating them so far, it sounds. Just a quick question. Um, Sigfox has come to us before. Um, okay. You've got three areas really, devices, network or platform. You know, you're, you're focusing on all three at the moment. There's really a lot in that space, in that devices space, uh, and they don't run all on the 920 megahertz. Mm. They run on different sort of spectrums, and um, you're trying to standardise that, I, I understand. Mm -hmm. The platform integration is probably one of the biggest keys. Um, what I've seen over the time, there is no platform integration for IoT that actually works properly um, in, in that sense. And what I'm interested in is where's the focus? Is it to build the network or to build the platform integration or build the devices? So uh, our focus is the network. We're a network operator. But if you want to fast track the market, it's a bit like Intel who just had a, a driverless car. They're showcasing a driverless car. Their aim is not to become a, drive manuf uh, a car manufacturer. Uh, their aim is to showcase, hey, the car exists. I can show it. Now let's work with uh, car manufacturers to make it happen on a large scale, global scale. Same thing for us. For us, it's about fast tracking the market, showcasing that it's not that hard to do a device. It's not that hard to integrate that to any kind of platform. And uh, even we have people like G. I saw G in the presentation earlier on. Uh, G predicts uh, it's the platform of GE, and, uh, and we show them within two hours that their platform was integrated with Sigfox. Where for them it was like a three months project. So let's come to our office and then we'll show you that uh, how easy it is. And uh, so integration to any kind of platform is very easy. Uh, devices, uh, it's more complex because they have to be relatively small. But we, have, we show them uh, that it's possible with integration manufacturers in China that can be not only integrating very, very small, but also very low cost. Uh, when I have this kind of device, I mean, we're, at, we're talking $20 here. Uh, so I'm not interested in selling pet trackers, but uh, when you talk uh, to customers like Chip, we have 12 million pallets. Uh, that's the kind of project we want to, to, to deal with. And uh, so we're not about selling devices as such. We're not about building network, managing the network, and showcasing, evangelizing uh, uh, around it and work with as many partners. And that's why we have 300 partners now, which are either making devices or making intelligence at the, at the platform level. <laughs>